another category of athletes that benefits from rolfers or golfers. And oftentimes when people come to me and they've been golfing for 20 years and you begin to see that their body has almost begun to stay in the shape that it's in after they've hit the ball so that they sort of look like this. Their whole spine has sort of a C-curve to it. And they're sort of stuck in that pattern, which makes it difficult for them to swing back because their spine wants to go this way. So what I do as a rolfer that helps to improve their basic game and maybe cut a few strokes off their score is to try to get their spine a little bit more aligned up by working the connective tissue. It's at this level that a lot of the restrictions begin to bind up their movement. So what we'll do is layer by layer begin to work with structures that literally have become glued together and created a pattern so that when this person walks around not only can they not stand up straight but their head is off at an angle too. Or if they try to bring their head up then their pelvis and low back are straight. So oftentimes golfers have a lot of twists and strains in their body which not only create more strokes and add their score up but make it a lot more difficult to play the game in general and then after 18 holes they're exhausted. So ideally if you're in good shape you could go out and play 18 holes and still, still feel really good. Uh, there's no reason to feel exhausted after 18 holes. So if you're feeling really worn out and tired that's another sign that something needs to be addressed. It's kind of like if your car is not getting very good gas mileage it's time to start looking at things and wondering why it's not performing as well as it should. So if your body doesn't perform like it should, you know, maybe it's time to begin to think about taking care of yourself. You know, often we take really good care of our cars. So one perspective would be to think that imagine if you had a car. You're 16 years old and someone gives you a car and this car has to last you for the rest of your life. This is the only car you're ever going to get. This is the only paint job. This is the only set of tires you're going to get. How do you make that last for 80 or 100 years? Well, if that were the case, people would have taken tr tremendous care of their car. They parked it in the garage, they put a covering over it, they'd, they'd wash it and wax it, they'd vacuum it, they'd make everything work perfectly. And we, we want to think about our bodies in the same way. This is the only body you're going to get. So take good care of it because it's got to last a long time. It's a great investment. What you see is part of an hour in so-called structural integration. Structural integration is a technique which aims at organizing, at ordering a body, at bringing muscles back into the place where they belong in terms of their theoretical order. The young man whom you see working is Bob Hines, a practitioner in structural integration, sometimes called Rolfing from the fact that it was developed by Ida P. Rolf, mainly myself, and that <clears throat> this is part of a technique to make a person feel more effective, more efficient, to make him better organized, better coordinated, because he is in the gravitational field and accepting it and working in it and working with it instead of fighting it as the average random body has to do. So if you'd like to improve your score on the golf course and feel better when you're playing golf, I'm confident that Rolfing can help you. Give me a call or go to my website. How does that sound?